expect a haunting season two for Nancy Drew. Check it out. I used to go looking in the dark to find the truth. I was Nancy Drew, girl detective of Horseshoe Bay, solver of everyone else's mysteries. Then I learned that I was the biggest mystery all along. Everything I thought I knew about my life had been a lie. I have no idea who I am anymore. And now, I may never get the chance to figure it out. I mean, if that doesn't suck you in, I don't know what will. Please welcome the super sleuth herself, Nancy Drew, also known as actress Kennedy McMahon. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Thanks so for good to me. see you again. I know last time we talked, you were actually in studio, which, which was so nice, but we'll I make know, it work. Away. <laughs> I know, that's okay. Um, hey, that clip looked like your character has really fallen to her death, but of course, that can't be the end of Nancy Drew, right? Not yet. Okay. We shall see. Well, what's going on this season? Uh, right, so we are picking up an hour after the season one finale. The Drew crew has just seen all of their death visions and they're all obviously reeling from that and realizing that, that you know, it's getting real and they have to figure out a way to stop the Aglaica before she kills them all. Mm -hmm. You know, we do expect mystery solving on a Nancy Drew show, of course, but this series really deals with so much more. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think at the heart of our show, you know, obviously we have, you know, the kind of Scooby gang solving mysteries, both earthly and uh, not of this earth, a bit more supernatural. But, you know, I think at the heart of our show, it, it's about family. It's about a father and daughter relationship. And, and now, you know, another relationship with another father. So we have an interesting dad triangle uh, entering into season two. Um, that I think is th that and the pursuit of identity is, is really at the heart of our show. Yeah, last time you were here, what a difference a year makes. Uh, you were talking about season one, the premiere in studio with your TV dad, Scott Wolf. Um, he's such a veteran actor. We love him as well. What have you learned from working with him? Oh my gosh, how to be the best. Scott is the best and he just has such a great presence on set. You know, he's very calm and kind and collected. And I think he sets a wonderful example for all of us. And he's just fun. I think he he and I have an amazing, amazing time working together. So it's just a pleasure. I mean, the guy doesn't age, does he? No, not that I've seen. <laughs> I want whatever he's taking because it clearly works. Um, so on the show, you play a waitress. Do you have any real life waitressing skills? I don't. I always wanted to be a waitress. <laughs> I was a nanny when I was a when I was you know hitting the pavement after college and and trying to get an acting job. I, I was nannying. I did not do the the waitressing uh, route, but, but I'm now sure I get picked to fill two dreams. I get to work as an actor and pretend to be. A That's waitress. right. You picked up some skills along the way. This is what's really cool. The cast of Nancy Drew actually make an appearance together on the Penn and Teller show. Try this home too. Um, were you guys a part of the magic trick? What, what was going on there? We were a part of the magic trick. They were sort of guiding us in a magic trick that we could sort of do without really realizing what we were doing. It was a whole lot of fun. It was so I was I was like geeking out. I love Penn and Teller. So it was really, really special that we got to be on the show. You know, every time we have mu uh, magicians on the show, I like you say, I start to geek out too, because I think I know what they're doing, but they always mm -hmm. stun me. Did you get any clue, any behind the scenes tricks as to how they're making this happen? Not really. It was and it was funny because we were all doing it at home. We were just following directions, but I still have no idea how it worked. I know. Well, when you find out, let me know because they always seem to fool me. Kennedy, thanks for being with us. Always great to talk to you and see you again. Absolutely a pleasure. Thanks uh, for having me. Yes, stay safe. We'll see you on season two of Nancy Drew right here on PIX11 Wednesdays at 9 p.m.